everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today I'm actually doing a really special project in partnership with Utah Air Guns. So Justin Jacobson threw down an insane long shot a little while back. Got a hit. There you go. Two hits. Two hits, 650. Jacked him. 650. And I'll tell you what, it really inspired me to come out here to uh, Lake City, Michigan, to the Marksmanship Training Center, to the thousand yard range. So if you're a powder burner, you've probably heard about this, taking a milk jug, putting it out there, a thousand yards, 1500 yards. I think they go out like beyond a mile. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. But with air guns, it's kind of getting a little bit uh, ridiculous at that point. So just as a quick comparison, let's take a look at some ballistic equivalencies. And so for this example, I'm going to use a typical 308 uh, bullet, uh, Sierra Match King, which is 168 grains. BC is roughly about 0.53. So the muzzle velocity on these are typically 2,750 feet per second. So when you look at this as an example, at a thousand yards, these bullets are dropping just over 320 inches. So the equivalent to that thousand yard shot with that 308 Sierra Match King with, let's say, an FX hybrid uh, slug and 25 cal BC of 0 0.09 traveling about 950 feet per second out of my Dreamline. So to get the same amount of equivalency as far as yardage and inches of drop goes, as compared to that 308, looking at the FX hybrid slug uh, in a 25 caliber, 26 grain, is going to be about 375 yards, roughly, roughly. And so when you look at that, that that's also dropping at the same amount of inches as the 308 was. So roughly 325, 330 inches of drop. So when you see long range air gunners taking shots at 350 and beyond, I mean, that's equivalent to a thousand yard shot with a firearm. And so for today's shot, we're actually going to be using the Mr. Hollow Point 545 grain Spitzer slugs. And I've calculated these based on the, uh, the Quigley long range shot that I was doing before at 325 yards. I calculated the BC to be about 0.25. Using that as a bit of a benchmark for this shot, um, we're going to be doing 687 yards uh, with this slug. So that milk jug challenge is probably the, one of the gold standards of long range shooting. Basically hitting a milk jug in less than 10 shots. So let's check out the range, check out the equipment. Uh, you've seen me shoot the uh, Air Force Texan 50 cal already in some of my other videos. I've got the uh, Atlas 5H bipod, which is their biggest, beefiest bipod with the uh, widest stance platform. Great for long range shooting like this. And look how much elevation that I've got going on there to make this uh, 687 yard shot. And so as usual, I'm gonna be shooting tethered off of my bottle with a Huma external regulator. And so the way I use this is I actually use this in conjunction with a chronograph where I make sure that my uh, shot deviation from shot to shot is maybe five to 10 feet per second uh, difference from shot to shot. Because taking long range shots like this, uh, shooting unregulated, it's, it's pretty much impossible because you're just gonna get so much deviation and velocity from shot to shot. So by using this, I'm really tightening up the uh, shot velocities and, and also creating a really good sense of accuracy. And so what I do with this is at 100 yards, I zero at 100 yards, and I find the pressure where I'm just getting the best group. And then I lock it down. There's a little Allen key here on the adjuster. I lock that down so I know I've got the same velocity shot to shot. And then I move on with making the uh, longer range shots. All right, so real quick, uh, to capture my scope cam footage, I'm gonna be using the new Tacticam Long Range Spotter. What this is is a camera that actually just mounts right onto any spotting scope and it comes with a whole series of different adapters to make sure it can fit onto pretty much any spotting scope that you have access to. Anyway, quick overview of the Tacticam. It's super simple, it slides right on the spotting scope. You've got a button here that basically starts the recording, turns the power on, turns the power off. Right here you've got uh, two zoom buttons and what that does is it allows you to zoom in and get rid of that uh, external scope shadow. So it kind of gets really tight in there, really crisp, clear picture. And a lot of other cool features about this. It's got a Wi-Fi enabled uh, capability, so that way you can pair it with your phone. You can review video in the uh, Tacticam app. 
The menu is super easy to use. You can flip through different uh, settings for the camera mode. So you can choose everything from different uh, screen resolutions to uh, different frame rates. So another thing I really love about this is the ability to manipulate the screen. So notice you have full ability to move it up and down. And then also you can even turn it back towards your shooting position. So as I'm sitting here taking shots, I can turn that screen directly to my line of sight so I can actually look up, see where I'm hitting. So out here, you know, 600 plus yards, you're basically just looking for a dust impact. But what's great about this is you can go back and review that footage and be able to see where your impacts are. And for shots, you know, probably 200 yards and in, you're going to be able to see your impacts on the actual target. You can see your holes in the target. So yeah, absolutely loving this thing. It is definitely a must have in my long range shooting kit. So today I'm actually using the known markings of the uh, thousand yard range that we have out here. And I'm gonna put the jug out at 687 yards and see if I can get it in 10 shots. All right, here we go, 687 yards, milk jug challenge. We're at the uh, blue circle. And there's my shooting position way out there. All right, range is hot. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Milk jug challenge, 10 shots. 687 yards, got this shot pretty well doped, but the wind keeps shifting on me. And now it's in my face harder than it was before. Quite a bit more right to left. Let's see if we can figure this out. Ooh, just left. Hold it just a little bit more. Right on that one. Oh, just under it. Come on. When pushes back in my face like that, you lose like three yards. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, just under it. Come on. Guessing the wind, right? That's good. Oh, just to the right. There it is. Oh! <laughs> the wind shifted again. Dang it. That was a steel plate. It's ringing steel quite a few times in a row, but I'm talking about a milk jug a lot smaller. All right, here we go. I'm going right at it this time. Oh, 
Whoa! Went right at it, went right over the top. Nope. Wind pack. Oh, man, that wind. Got it! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Alright, let's jump in the truck, let's go take a drive, let's check it out. Cold. Let's take a drive. <laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> Dead center. <laughs> Sweet. So there it is, Air Gunner. 687 yards with the Air Force Tech Sin 50 Cal shooting a Mr. Hollow Point, 545 grain, Spitzer Slug. Man, I'll tell you what, that was a poke. Wind kept shifting on me a little bit, but I was able to figure it out. Figuring out the trajectory of these slugs at that distance is, is absolutely crazy, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks everybody for joining me. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner and Utah Air Guns. Take care.